Hi, my name is Tracy McMullen, and this is Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service. Jump into PBCS Part 4, Why Should I Buy PBCS? Businesses today are facing a number of different challenges. You're not in the business of managing security for your organization. You're in the business of manufacturing a product or providing a service to customers, creating data centers and making sure that you've got up-to-the-date security procedures and processes and tools in place to keep that data private and secure. It's not your core business or your functionality, so trying to keep up and manage that security is an ongoing challenge. Making sure that you're up to date on the latest version. Again, IT budgets are constrained and resources are constrained. And what happens is the business ends up having to wait for the newest version and the newest functionality. Again, IT expenses are growing along with software purchases. So how can we better manage that and reduce some of those costs? What ends up happening again, because maybe we can't get approval to do some of these projects or purchase software that may be the best solution for us, we end up building these solutions in Excel and doing some very complicated Excel spreadsheets. And you get into that spreadsheet mania that again, challenges the security management issue because you're storing that information in a document that's easily transmittable. Expansion, so if you've got APM requirements and you have a solution, but you've got other lines of business that would like to take advantage of it, and you just don't have the user licenses to be able to do that, or the ability to buy the servers that are needed to support those users. And again, what happens is, is we end up being slower and we're less agile to make decisions and to be able to really take advantage of the solutions to help improve our business. So what are some of the cloud benefits? Again, ease of expansion. So having a cloud service, we're able to very quickly as a need or demand comes up, reach out to new geographies or extend to new departments. You can achieve lower software fees with a SaaS model. You can reduce IT costs, personnel, and equipment. So those resources that are supporting your EPM servers and then actually the server costs themselves, those go away in a cloud environment. The cloud really helps us accelerate the EPM adoption because we can reach out to those new departments, those new lines of business and get them up and running very quickly. The latest versions of the cloud interfaces and PBCS is very intuitive and easy to use. And because it's easy to use, that helps reduce the amount of training that's required. What it allows you to do is really focus on the analytics in your process and getting more up-to-the-date forecasts so you can make better decisions versus the time spent on software support, upgrades, and patches. With PBCS, it's a monthly subscription, self-service signup. And again, once you've set it up with your Oracle sales representative, you can immediately provision the access for your users and get up and running. You then have the ability to kind of manage your overall instance and monitor who is accessing and how are things working. But from under the covers and behind the scenes, Oracle is gonna manage the hardware and the versions and the support for your PBCS instance. So again, planning on the cloud benefits really fosters innovation because you're not waiting on a server, you're not waiting on an upgrade, you're able to just jump in and immediately start using the PBCS application and functionality. It does reduce your costs because you don't have to buy those servers and you remove the IT expense from your EPM and your PBCS maintenance. And it allows you to become very agile so you can do things and add things and expand out to your organization in a very quick fashion. So again, just to reiterate, use case for PBCS, no servers, no IT support, and it can be business driven. You can immediately start implementing and using. And what you can start with is maybe a small prototype or a small area. And then from there, work with your partner to implement first phases in four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, depending on how you scope out the project. Using the cloud and PBCS allows you to grow your PBCS with your business, and it really accelerates the time to value. The use case for existing Hyperion customers, again, those of you who have a high reliance on your IT group to do your upgrades and your software, and maybe they're very constrained and don't have the bandwidth to support your EPM applications, then you guys are a great case for PBCS. If you are on a very old version, Hyperion planning, and you've been wanting to upgrade for a while, but you haven't been able to, 
When you get to PBCS, you are always on the latest version. You do not have to wait for the next upgrade. You don't have to justify and then pay consulting dollars to then upgrade your applications. Again, those are gonna be taken care of with Oracle and with your PBCS license. It allows you to focus on the business value. And again, it allows you to expand out to additional business units or lines of business. There's a couple of different deployment options that you can do with PBCS. So again, many companies are doing this and they're really going pure cloud and they're trying to move everything there. So PBCS was the first EPM product along with EPRCS. So you can have a strategy of, you know what, we're going to do everything in the cloud and we're going to use PBCS for planning. We're going to use business intelligence, cloud service, BICS for all of our dashboarding requirements, interactive over, you know, analytics over the web. EPRCS for your narrative reporting. And then what's coming in the future is S-Base on the cloud and then financial closing consolidation on the cloud. So you can have a strategy of I'm going to have all of my EPM applications on the cloud. There's also hybrid option deployment options. If you're just talking about PBCS, you may have PBCS dev environment that you can play around with the new features and the, the new version in preparation for maybe your on-premise PBCS application. The other hybrid solution is that, and this is really what we're seeing today, is that you may use PBCS in the cloud for your planning and budgeting and forecasting, but you still may have HFM and S-based in your on-premise solution. And you need to integrate data with those applications, and that's certainly possible with data management and EPM Automate, those things can be automated and that integration can take place until we have our S-Base on the cloud, which is sometime this year rumor mill, along with financial consolidation and closed solution. So again, why the cloud might be right for you and why maybe you should purchase PVCS is it addresses security management. So Oracle is on the hook. And again, Oracle's bread and butter is managing data in these software solutions and these security solutions. So instead of your organization being responsible, you're really leveraging the expertise of Oracle. You never have to wait for the functionality or the new version. It helps reduce your IT expenses, your software purchase costs expansion and allowing you to quickly expand out EPM and this planning solution to across the globe or to additional lines of business. It helps you become more agile. And again, you can get these solutions out much quicker. And then of course we have Excel, which can still, because we love uh, most of our EPM users and our PBCS users love Excel, that is still supported and available, but at least you get this enabling technology to have a central place to house your budgets and your forecasts and central place for all of your business rules. And this concludes Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service. Jump into PBCS, part four, why should I buy PBCS?